Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's a real quick uh, video on a about the start project, I guess you could say. This is a chassis from a Philco radio that belongs to a friend of mine. This was his grandmother's radio, and uh, he asked me if I could fix it up for him and uh, get it going for his dad as a birthday present. So. Uh, I have, as you can tell, I haven't even cleaned it. You get uh, vintage dust on this baby. Original tube there, an RCA. I think this is a Philco back here. That's a Hytron. I uh, don't know what's under here. I haven't pulled it. Um, but as you can see, it's it's pretty dirty. This thing is not believed to have been used since at least the 1970s, and it was made in 1949. There it is, 49-16. 02, it looks like, or 1692. Um, basically, it's just an AA5 chassis, you know, 5 tube. It's Philco Loctal stuff instead of uh, Octal, but uh, you know, you got one Octal tube here. Uh, very basic, not a lot going on in here. It's kind of a large chassis, but you know, at the same time, it's pretty simple. You know, this looks busy underneath, but it's really not that bad at all. Half the bothers this big wax paper cap in the corner and the uh, the other little one. Um, this one also has a record changer with it. This is not the original changer, but it's what was in the cabinet. This is a 1950s Voice of Music uh, record changer. Originally it would have been a 78 RPM only uh, Philco changer, which I'm guessing someone changed this at some point because uh, 78s were largely obsolete. It's got some pretty dicey wiring here. I don't know how well it's going to show up, but these are the tone arm wires here. Looks like three of them, and here's the fourth hanging out over here. And there's this kind of ball of tape and solder or something going on here. And it's got a record, uh, record phono switch there. Uh, I have to see what's... Uh, I believe this is originally correct, but um, I know this is obviously not. It's got a terminal strip on the bottom. I'm just going to make use of changer underneath. Um, is uh, you know nothing, nothing real special here. Just a lot of dirt. Probably just clean this up and get it going. Well, I don't expect that to be a terrible big deal as long as the idler wheels all right. This cartridge I don't know about. It's a it says Vaco. I don't know whether uh, I can get a needle for this. Looks like a looks like it takes a little flathead screw right there, and I can pop the needle out. But I have to see if it's any good, or if I need to replace the cartridge. It may be a crystal cartridge, and it's possible that it failed. But uh, well, one way or the other, I'll get it going and figure out something to do with it. But um, oh, that's good. It does turn. Interesting. You can see a dust line. <laughs> Alright, well, anyway, stay tuned for updates. I'm going to start on this thing now and uh, see what we can get. Talk to you later.